Yo, yo, what up guys? First video of the new year. So I figured, uh, why not start out with some drag racing? So, my neighbor down the street, not like my next door neighbor, obviously, he's got a MQB GLI and he's about to swap an IS38 into it this week, but we wanna get some runs in beforehand. So, he's stage two, IS20 with EQT. He sent me a few mods. We'll, we'll ask him again when he gets here, get it on video. I'm about to look up and see what the stage two cars make just so we can get a number comparison because I, I should be right around 300 i think he should be too but probably with more torque but it's a little wet out and it's a little cold so i suspect we're only going to do rolls so sorry about the digs it doesn't really make much sense front wheel drive all wheel drive you know but if he's down i'm down i'm gonna look up and see what they make real quick and uh hopefully this will make for a good video so here, looking at the stage two ninety one, three thirty and three ninety one, and he's he's got the ninety three. So uh, yeah, should be decently close in horsepower. Like I said, I don't I don't even know what my stock torque is supposed to be. Honestly, should probably look that up. Twenty two S three. Mm, this is three hundred and six horsepower. How much torque? 295 foot pounds. He's got me by about 100 foot pounds, so he should definitely uh, fly on by in his TCU's tune. So it'll be uh, interesting to see how he gets traction. And once he goes high, it's 38. That's going to be, let's see, stage two, 384 and 410. How is this GTI stage? Two, three, four. Yeah, so you're looking at about 50 more horse and roughly 20, 30 more foot pounds of torque when he goes to the IS38. Neat. Talking. And then you can ask questions on your phone. It's just simple stage two, right? Yep. yep. Stage two is a uh, TTS intake, turbo MXI, IS20, 93 octane, uh, EQT DST 10. Uh, ARM cat a down pipe, 200 cell cat, and then it's a full three inch all the way back. Yeah, because this thing's loud, huh? It is pretty loud. <laughs> um, full weight. Um, I have uh, the racing line intercooler sitting in the back that I got from. Oh, there, yeah, so you got parts in here. That's <laughs> in, in the back, and then I have some uh, APR lowering spring sitting in the back as well. So, all right. Should be a fun race. All right, so I think we found a spot we're gonna go. Let's see how these two uh, end up against one another. Should be exciting. Um, like I said, this car makes, definitely makes more power than me. I might have a slight weight advantage right now. Cause they got two passengers or two people and I just have me. But uh, we'll see how she goes. And obviously we, our all-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive, but from a roll, shouldn't matter too much. think about that that's pretty good oh man i just took the camera off and then we do that we're gonna flip around we're gonna we're gonna go for a dig quarter mile on this other side of the road so we'll see how that goes he was getting a little bit of wheel spin there at first but uh yeah about, about up to 120 or so where that's when we get about even it's nice to see it's cool all right the camera back up Not sure of like the best place to start a dig here. I guess we can just go for it. Quarter mile. 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 Qu
quarter mile. Let's see what he says. Does it merge up here or no? No, this goes all the way back up. So this is two lanes? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get up there so it's a little bit straighter. And then is it straight the whole way? Yeah, it get, there's like a little like kind of dip. Not hard, I've got you but it like... Once it gets towards the end, it'll curve a little bit because it starts. That's right, when it. So let's go and pull up there. It's a little bit more straight. You want to give me the hit? Yeah. You want to give me the hit? Yeah, I'll give you the hit. And call it good after that? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a regular, regular old dig here. Hopefully my launch launches properly this time. All right. Uh, you can go ahead and launch and then on the, do you only three honks or two? Three. It's three, okay. I'm letting off, like right after the third honk, I'm gonna let off the brake. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna launch control, so. Okay. All right, you ready? I put some anti-squat arms in it, yeah. and it really helps keeping it fucking level on launch. So is it, is it a 60-40 bias, or is it true 50-50 with the, I don't, do they have the same holodeck system as the Gulf Hours? I think it's the same as the last gen, so what I had okay. before. So it's like 60-40 or like yeah. 45, 45 or whatever. I think they did a little, I don't, the, they could have did. I haven't found any like good information, so I'm just like assuming. But it seems like it launches better than the last gen, especially like on slow-mo. Yeah. There's no, you don't see the front like slip as much. Is the, do you know the the chassis difference between the S3s and the Gulf R's? Do you know any differences between them? They should be the same chassis. I feel like you just might have a little bit more weight in the back on these cars because they're a little. I think they might be a little longer. That might be, and the batteries in the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so there's a little extra. Know, it definitely. Well, guys, what'd you think? So so far, um, at least from cars that we actually know, what's done to them, we got. Uh, 
Last Human's Garage, his S3 Stage 1, 93. We keep up with that. And then his Stage 2 IS20 car, we keep up with that. So that's pretty interesting to see where this car sits. So this is like a Stage 2 tuned GTI or GLI, like a Stage 1 tuned S3 and Golf R of the last generation. It's really exciting to see. Um, really, I mean, we have an intake on this, lowering springs, wheels, tires, sway bar, end links, um, and uh, the anti-squat, anti-lift arms. And that's all we got on here so far. Racing Line did just release some stuff. Waiting on that to become available to the US people. Otherwise, I'd already have the inlet and the hose for the intake. Not that that's really gonna help us for that much in power, but it's still something. We have do have parts on the way. Nothing to make us go fast, but to make us look pretty. And I'm still contemplating on when I'm gonna put this rear end in the car. I'd like to do it before the baby gets here. We coming, what, two days after you see this will be 36 weeks. So we're looking at about any day after Wednesday, this baby could really pop out. But she's due on the 2nd of February, so. Fingers crossed she holds off until then because that's also her birthday. So I could have my daughter and my girl's birthday on the same day. I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Let me let me la, 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 la. let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any other suggestions or know any people in the Virginia Beach area that would love to do some runs, send them my way because I'm always down to run. Win, lose, draw. I don't care. It's all for fun. Um... That's all I got. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. And I'll catch you on the flip-flop.